these charges they have just really been loading up they have been loading up obviously they got their quarterback they re-signed their wide receiver they had a great pass rush and joey both they're like you know what nah that's not enough that's not enough you know let's just go get khalil mack who i believe had what six sacks in seven games and us Oh, yeah. Let's just go get Khalil Mack. So the rich got rich. They were like, you know what? We got the salary cap space. We are going to invest in our young quarterback. Still, of course, got Keenan Allen. Uh, so, and then, of course, we talked about Mike Williams. So they're like, you know what? Nah, not done. Derwin James, he'll be here for another year. Uh, you know what? J.C. Jackson. It, and it was said like 30, 40 minutes ago that the Chargers had offered uh, J.C. Jackson a deal. Um, now, hearing that, it's like, oh, okay, they offered him a deal. They're obviously interested, but all right, let's see. We saw. And what we see is real now because he he's there. He's there. He's with the Chargers now. And th these Chargers are building. They're building a squad. They're building a squad. J.C. Jackson, you're getting a really good corner. Who I'm, I was surprised that the Patriots just let him walk. I was really shocked at that. I just, just knew they were either going to franchise tag him or still they were going to come to a contract degree. But I, did, I just really thought that the Patriots were not just going to let him off that easy. But they did. And I'm like, okay, I, I respect that. Y'all ain't hold him hostage. I ain't even hold him hostage for no draft picks or nothing. Which I'm surprised because usually teams, if they know, like, all right, we're not going to re-sign this guy. We're not going to keep this player. And they'll be like, all right, franchise tag. But Patriots said, no, you can go. Bye. See you. And now J.C. Jackson remains in the AFC. And wow. And, and this, this is a ball hawk right here. It's like J.C. Jackson, he's a cornerback that is going to get you those interceptions. And that's what you want in a cornerback. Like, first off, you want to make sure that the receiver doesn't catch the ball. Like, that's first and foremost. But if the cornerback can get interceptions too, ooh, that's a sweet little bonus right there. That's a sweet bonus. And that's J.C. Jackson. So, as of right now, the, um, it hasn't come in what the terms are, but they are going to be nasty. And when I say nasty, I mean nasty uh, in a good way. I see a stat that was put up. Uh, all charges defensive backs in 2021. All, the, all of them combined had seven interceptions. J.C. Jackson alone, he had eight. Don't make no sense. How, like, it's weird because this, this dude will come up with like 50 interceptions in a season, but these quarterbacks, they will still keep throwing his way. They'll still keep throwing his way. If I'm a quarterback, I know who J.C. Jackson is. I'm like, man, this dude is picking off everybody. I might try him a little bit, but I ain't going to try him too much. Unless my receiver, like, really got him beat and, like, really got good separation, too. But apparently these quarterbacks, they, they keep trying them. They must not believe in them. They're like, ah, right, you know what? Whatever. It is what it is. Um, so, shout out to J.C. Jackson getting his bread. Uh, shout out to J.C. Jackson for over the years. The consistency that he's been putting in, that work that he's been putting in to remain one of the better cornerbacks. And, and I almost feel like under, one of the more underrated cornerbacks that have been out there for the longest. Like, when you hear about top cornerbacks, you hear about Jalen Ramsey, of course. You hear about Marlon Humphrey, of course. You hear about Jair Alexander when he's healthy and stuff. But I feel like you don't really hear about J.C. Jackson like that. And maybe, maybe it's just me, but I feel like people don't really talk about him like that when you talk about some of the top corners. Um, but, yeah, Chargers, they found their guy. Oh, my goodness, the deal just came out. It is a five-year, $82.5 million deal with $40 million guaranteed. So five years, $82.5 mil. Let's do the math on that. With a calculator, of course, not in my head. $82.5 million deal Oof, for five years. Wow. He got $16.5 mil per. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. <laughs> That's a lot of money. 16 and a half mil per year. Lock it up, JC. You keep like every, every pick that he gets now is gonna be worth like 2.1 mil. If we want we want to break the math down. Every interception that he gets is worth 2.1 million dollars. Around there. That's a little rough draft, but he got it. He earned it. He deserved it. And he got paid. You know, Jair Alexander looking at this right now, like, ooh, because he's in line to get paid. So, mm, markets are continuing to be reset uh, today. 
today. Uh, so anyway, J.C. Jackson, like he told the New England Patriots when they said, all right, you don't got to be franchise tag. We're not putting no tender on you. We're going to let you be a free agent. Like he told the Patriots when he was walking out them doors, I'm out. 